Welcome to MongoDB tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about storage engine in MongoDB. So, uh, what is a, a MongoDB storage engine? So, in a MongoDB, uh, storage engine is the component which is responsible how the data will be managed on the disk and memory and it is relevant to the versions uh, which you are working upon so there are two types of storage engine in mongodb so first one is the wired tiger storage engine so this is the storage engine which is coming by default from uh, version 3.2 as of uh, now it is version 4.4 and when you do not know which uh, storage engine has to be used so when you install the uh, the community version so uh, what happens is uh, uh, it is well suited for uh, most workloads. So if you don't know which engine has to be used, you go with the Wired Tiger storage engine. The second storage engine, which is available, it is in uh, MongoDB Enterprise version. And what it does, it keeps everything in, in the memory than keeping it on the disk. And uh, just because to uh, it is it is very good because it is coming from the uh, the memory and it is it is by design only. So there was one more uh, uh, engine which was uh, available in uh, versions prior to 3.2. Uh, it was MM APV1 uh, 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 storage engine and it was uh, it was available in version which was uh, prior to 3.2. Two, and it was supposed to be one of the most successful uh, memory based uh, engine because uh, what it does it, it utilizes the uh, the available memory on the system very efficiently so if you do not know which has to be used in the prior version you have to go with the mm apv1 uh, 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 storage engine so what it does this particular in storage engine if you have uh, a free memory available on your machine let's say uh, out of 100 gb it uh, you have some 25 gb available on the on the system so it efficiently uses uh, that uh, uh, that uh, memory and uh, your the performance of the system uh, becomes very good and it's one of the feature was it is dynamic in nature so whenever another process need that it is going to release it so that's that's about the storage engine. So storage engine is what it is. Uh, it is uh, a database component which is used to manage uh, uh, manage the disk and the memory in in MongoDB. So like how how the data will be managed. And there are three types: uh, Wired Tiger storage engine, which is default uh, from uh, version 3.2. Second one, uh, in memory storage engine that is for enterprise edition. And uh, the third one is the deprecated one. It is MM. APV1 it was available in versions prior to 3.2 so next thing is how is the storage managed in the MongoDB so MongoDB manages data uh, with the storage engine and it, it, it does in terms of a journal uh, this is specifically when when you are dealing with the wired tiger storage engine so it creates the log between the checkpoints which helps in recovering the database in case there is a event of hard shutdown let's say uh, the database has done the checkpointing at one particular point of time and uh, uh, Another checkpointing was supposed to happen in let's say a couple of seconds and before that the database has crashed then these general files which has the transaction details uh, in the serialized format they will be used to recover the system. There is one more type uh, of storage which is gridfs. Uh, this is useful when you have the documents whose size is greater than 16 MB. Uh, this slide talks about uh, the storage engine features of Wired Tiger, which is the default storage. So the first one is document level concurrency. So it means that in um, um, in a collection, if there are multiple uh, uh, multiple documents available and many clients are trying to access them all at the same time then it is possible and in case there is some kind of conflict between the two operations they are trying to uh, trying to update or modify the same same uh, document in that case uh, mongodb will take a decision and it will try to uh, resolve that conflict there are two more terms which are coming in MongoDB. There is snapshot and the checkpoints. So 
Wire Tiger storage uh, engine uh, uses MVCC, which is multi uh, version concurrency control. That means a persistent view of the data will be available when the same data is getting modified so that the end user will not face any problem. So what it, it does it a snapshot is always present consistently in, in the memory area. And while the while the other copy is getting modified and will be returned to the disk, the same will be available for that time being in the in in memory uh, data. So when when it is going to write to the disk there will be two operations performed one is uh, uh, one is the persistent data will be returned to the disk uh, and uh, and uh, in a consistent way on all the uh, data files that is known as the checkpointing so the checkpointing will ensure that the data files are consistent uh, and it will make sure that everything is consistent till the last checkpoint so checkpoint we can say uh, it's it's a recovery point till that point data data is saved in your data files so by default uh, wired tiger creates a checkpoint after an interval of 60 seconds that is by by default and in between if you are inserting the data or or um, making uh, an attempt to write it to the disk that happens as usual there's one more term which is commonly used in Wired Tiger storage engine is journal. So what is journal? Journal is a well which is write ahead log. So what it is, uh, so it is having all the transaction details and it is used in, in along with the checkpointing. So let's say at uh, 10 a.m. Uh, there was a checkpoint happened on to the database. So everything will be written persistently on to the disk because of the checkpointing. And uh, between 10 a.m. to 10 Oh, 05 let us assume the the checkpointing has to sub, uh, is supposed to happen at 1005 then it made in between whatever transactions are happening they will be captured into the wire uh, right ahead log which is uh, journal and let's say 1004 uh, the system has crashed then all the journals which are uh, all the transaction logs which are uh, uh, generated between 10 to 1004 they will be used for the recovery so that's that's the use of these uh, journal files compression is another feature uh, so your uh, uh, storage engine that is uh, wire tiger storage engine supports uh, compression so it is going to compress your data and the indexes very efficiently and it uses two uh, two comp compression uh, libraries one is jetlib another is jet std and this is uh, the default one starting from mongo 4.2 uh, another is uh, important feature is the utilization of the memory. So whatever uh, storage, uh, whatever memory you allocate to the uh, to the uh, Wire Tiger storage engine, so it, it uh, uses it and them in the internal cache and the file system um, cache. So how do we use uh, that internal cache uh, or how, how much uh, memory have we have to allocate to the system? Let's say there is uh, 8 GB of RAM allocated to the system, then uh, the internal cache is going to use 50% minus one. That means 10 divided by two is five, five minus one is four. That means four GB will be available. Or if it is not following that, if it is uh, lesser than that, then uh, 256 uh, MB will be used. Let's say one GB of uh, RAM is available. There is another storage engine, which is known as uh, MongoDB uh, uh, in memory storage engine and it is available for the enterprise edition and this is good uh, because this is uh, uh, this is faster because it is not going to maintain anything on the disk everything will be there in the uh, in memory area if you talk about the data indexes or user credentials everything will be like that in case you wanted to start the DB with that, so you would just have to write this command mongod hyphen hyphen storage engine. You will say in memory and you have to give the uh, DB path or you can use the YAML configuration file as well, like this way. Uh, this 
this slide is talking about the memory storage uh, engine in memory storage engine uh, features first as a concurrency so uh, there, there's nothing new so multiple clients can modify different uh, documents at one point particular point of time memory usage this is really great so what it does it it requires that all must fit into the specified in memory size gb so in memory uh, storage engine uses 50% of the RAM minus one. Let's say 10 GB, same example. 10 GB divided by two is five minus one, four. So four GB will be available for this. Durability, it is, it is not persistent and it is not available in, into the uh, disk. Transaction, it, it, it supports the transaction. So there is one more term which is coming up uh, very frequently is journaling. So it provides uh, these. This provides the log, uh, the transaction logs which we are, which are used during the recovery of uh, the uh, the instance. Because after the checkpointing, when it is going to, uh, let's see what happens in the recovery process. So, uh, so in the recovery process, it will look for the data files uh, when the system is coming uh, up, like. Uh, uh, what is the identifier of the last checkpoint and after the last checkpoint it will search for the uh, journal files that has uh, all the records that matches the last uh, checkpoint so and it, it is going to apply those uh, transaction logs or the it, it is uh, in uh, mongodb it is known as journal so those journals will be applied and they will be uh, brought uh, bringing up the instance so it applies the operation in the journal file since the last checkpoint it's normal normal database uh, recovery scenario so compression by default mongodb configures why tiger to use snappy configuration for its journaling data and uh, what is the uh, you know, file size limit so it can go up to maximum 100 mb then it will it is going to create one so journaling and the in-memory storage engine. So we said that uh, storage engine works along with the journaling, but that is only possible in a storage engine where, in, sorry, in in uh, Wired Tiger storage engine, where in in uh, the database uh, uh, files. Uh, 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 catches up uh, the uh, the snapshot so that uh, the persistent data is written onto the disk but not in case of in memory because everything is in memory so journaling is not uh, uh, possible here in in case of, uh, of in memory so it is not going to create those files how do we manage the journaling if you wanted to disable it you just have to mention when you are starting mongodb hyphen hyphen no journal so I think uh, uh, in the newer version that is not possible to uh, disable it. If you wanted to uh, check the journal status, you just say uh, db.server status and it will show you the, that. Demo in the demo, we will see uh, how to find the size of uh, one of the uh, of uh, the uh, the collection, and then we will try to compress uh, uh, one of the uh, collection. Uh, let's see that. So let me close it, close this out and show and this is my Mongo shell. So the first command which I'm going to uh, fire is show DBS. So you can see that I have a number of database and if I say use new DB and say show collections it will show me a number of collections which are available let's say if i wanted to compress a particular com uh, uh, collection let's say it has uh, uh, utilized 80 percent of the storage what i will say is db dot run command c o double m a n d round bracket curly brackets then i will say compact and uh, then the collection name what i'm going to use is salary so what this will do this will compress but this is not going to release uh, the storage to the operating system uh, c o double m a n d Uh, 
Okay. db dot uh, run command c is in caps. So that's okay. Show collection. So I'm not sure if it has any data or not. So let me use something else like employee. E M P L O Y double E. db dot run command. Uh, there is some either this space issue or okay. Let me try with the codes. Yep, so it has worked. So it has uh, freed uh, uh, zero KB and uh, and uh, it has been come. Although there was no fragmentation, that why that's why it has not done. If it is, if it was, uh, there was some fragmentation, it could have done that. And db dot collection dot stats. So new db collection. You can see that although it, it's 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 not uh, big in size, that's why it is not showing, and it has all been compressed. If it was having some size, which it can show, it would have uh, shown you over here. So that's that's um, how we deal with the storage in MongoDB. So starting like um, we saw. Uh, the different type of storage in done than the demo was I think it was it's, it was very simple DB dot uh, stats we done in in build um, uh, beginning okay DB dot stats this will show you the DB uh, which you are connected to new DB collection. There are eight collections and you can see there are this many number of objects. Average object size is this much in byte. Data size is this one. Storage size is this one. And there are eight indexes. And that's all for the storage engine and the demo on, on, um, on a storage uh, engine. I hope it is going to help and uh, thanks for watching.